Hi, this is the first of a few worked examples on calculation of the thermodynamic properties of water. And this is something, this is a skill basically that you need to practice and master uh, in order to do any kind of uh, analysis of steam power plants or air conditioning systems or anything that involves water in a liquid or vapour state. first example that we're going to look at is this thing here. Find the internal energy of water at 240 Celsius and 2000 kilopascals. So the first thing that I advise you to do, particularly when you're learning this and uh, practicing it, is to draw some kind of a phase diagram. This will really help us to visualize and think about the state that our water is in. So the phase diagram we're most familiar with uh, on this thermodynamics course is the temperature volume diagram. Temperature on the vertical axis, specific volume on the horizontal axis. And I'm using a lowercase v because it's specific volume as opposed to total volume, which would be a capital V. And I'm going to draw the saturation dome. We're going to, we're going to draw a very crude representation of the saturation dome on this uh, TV diagram. Okay. We don't need this to be accurate. We just need a way of mapping out the different phases and the different regions. So, uh, we're at 240 Celsius, 2000 kilopascals. The first thing we do is go to the saturated water table in order to get a handle on where we are. So there are two saturated water tables. That's the superheated water table, don't want to go there. Uh, we've got the saturated water pressure table and the saturated water temperature table. We know both the temperature and the pressure in this particular problem, so it doesn't really matter which one we look at. Uh, let's look at the temperature table. We go down to 240 Celsius and we find that the saturation pressure is 33.44 bar. So let me make a note of that. PSAT is 33.44 bar, which in kilopascals is going to be 3,344 kilopascals, because the bar is 100 kilopascals. Okay. Right, so let's get some of this information onto our uh, diagram. The temperature that we're at is 240 degrees C. Let's just pick a, pick a spot on the diagram and mark it. We're not trying to be accurate here uh, in the diagram. And uh, any state on that line is at a temperature of 240 degrees C. Um, there's a saturation pressure we have found for that temperature. So if we draw a constant pressure curve that corresponds to 3344 kilopascals, it's going to fall exactly on that 240 degree C line as long as it's inside the saturation dome. So that curve there is the constant pressure curve for 3344 kilopascals. Now, the pressure that we're actually at is 2,000 kilopascals, uh, which is less than 3344 kilopascals. So let's draw the constant pressure curve for 2,000 kilopascals. It's going to be below the constant pressure curve that we've just drawn. Yeah, it's going to be um, something like this. That's 2,000 kilopascals. So we've got two known properties, a pressure of 2,000 kilopascals, a temperature of 240 degrees C. Our state is the one and only point on this diagram where the pressure is 2,000 kilopascals and the temperature is 240 degrees C. In other words, it has to be at the intersection of these two curves right there. Okay, so that tells us uh, by a sort of graphical method that our um, state is in the superheated uh, vapor region. Okay, it's not in the saturated region, the liquid vapor mixture is under the dome, and it's not uh, compressed liquid. <clears throat> so 
we can conclude from look from looking at the diagram and thinking about the diagram that we have superheated vapor. We don't need to do the diagram to uh, to, to find that out. We could have just deduced it by looking at the tables, but as I said, it helps to draw the diagram to visualize uh, this stuff. So we should write that down. Um, the reason we have decided that it's superheated vapor is that the pressure is less than uh, saturation pressure P subscript SAT, which implies that we have uh, superheated vapor S slash H VAP for short. Okay, so the significance of that now is that it tells us which table we need to go to. We need to go to the uh, superheated vapor table. So go back to our tables. That's the saturated water pressure table. Here's the superheated water vapor table. And on the superheated tables, uh, the superheated water table is really made up of a lot of uh, sub tables. So this region here, this table, is for a pressure of 0.06 bar. We've got a table here for uh, a pressure of 1.5 bar, and so on. Our pressure is 2,000 kilopascals, which is 2 megapascals. And luckily for us, there is a table for exactly 2 megapascals. Also, luckily for us, there's a row in that table for exactly 240 degrees Celsius. So, uh, finding our final answer is very easy then. We're looking for internal energy, which is lowercase u, specific internal energy, that is. Uh, and the answer is right here in the table, 2659.6 kilojoules per kilogram. So, let's just write that down to finish things up. So, u is, uh, I've forgotten what it was, 2659.6. And let's not forget the units. And that is our result.